Hi, my name is Bart and welcome to this QLux tutorial about QLists. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a QList. There are two ways to create QList. First I'm going to show you how to create a QList Q by Q. Then I'm going to show you how to create a QList using the wizard. Select the fixtures that you want to use for this QList and create a scene. After creating a scene, press the record button and then press the play button above the fader that you would like to assign to this queue list. Now modify your scene, click record and then click the same playback button again to add our second queue to our queue list. Again modify your scene, click record and click the playback button again. Now we have added three queues to our queue list. Clear the programmer, move the fader up and press the play button to go to our first queue in our queue list. Each time you click the play button, you go to the next queue. Stop the playback by holding the playback button. Double click above the playback button to go to the playback settings. Here you can set various playback settings, like fader start, bundle, speed and attack. To edit a queue list, click edit queue list. For each queue, you can set a starting delay, fade in and fade out time. Our queue list currently holds after each queue. To make a chase in queue list, just click chase. Close the queue list editor and close the playback settings. When you press the playback button, you see that the queue is chasing. Now I'm going to show you how to create the queue list by using the wizard. When you click Q, you get an overview of all your queue lists. To create a new queue list using the wizard, click Wizard. The wizard has two options. You can create a chase or a test sequence. A test sequence can be used by a rental company to test its fixtures. It creates a long queue list with all the different functions of the fixture. Click Chase to make a new chasing queue list. In the chase generator, you can select one fixtures and add all the same fixtures to the chase. When you click next, you can set the properties for the attribute that you want to create the chase with. In my example, I want to create a zigzag for a dimmer with a maximum value of 65%. When we click finish, we get an overview of our queue lists again, with our new chase. We still need to assign the chase to a playback fader or playback button. To do so, click play. This grid represents all the playback faders on each bank. Select the playback fader you want to use and click assign. Select the newly created queue list and click OK. To go back to your main overview, Click the play button again. Now move the fader to the top and press the play button to start playing your new chase. These are the two ways of creating queue lists in QLux. This was my tutorial about queue lists. Thank you for watching and hope to see you in our next tutorial. If you have any questions about QLux, you're more than welcome to join us on our support forum.